The question I get asked the most is which version of the product should I get? And uh, we have options varying from plans all the way to finished and designer versions. And as you can see, like most of life, it's a question of time and money and also some woodworking know-how and tools. But our plans book, basically, you can build any product in the Blue Sky Kitchen and all of the extension shelf options as well. Now, I'm not going to say a whole lot more about that at this moment, but what you want to do is go to the website and have a look at the plans page. Now, a kit turns out to be a real nice compromise between time and money. It surely doesn't take near as much time to put together as doing them from our plans booklet, nor does it cost near as much as a finished product. So what I send you is an instruction book, um, and you use that instruction book to match up your pieces. Once you have all your pieces matched up, then you assemble those into parts. For example, I'm using these plywood and redwood pieces to build the top and bottom parts for a grubby one in this example. Uh, and you can see the whole trick here is we want to glue and nail the pieces onto the plywood. Now, Brad Nailer really helps you if you have one, but you can do it with just a hammer and finish nails too. At some point we've turned all those pieces into parts. Now we need to take those parts and assemble those into a box and a stand. And when we're done what we have is an unfinished box. Now I always think that an unfinished box is really the best option for most people because it's easy to complete an unfinished box. All you really have to do is put a coat of stain on it, a lot of options for you there, and then finish it with either polyurethane or some people like to use spar varnish. And as it turns out, some people even uh, prime and paint um, to, to get their box water protected. And that brings us to a finished box which of course is where I do all the work for you. Now shown here what we really have is a designer box and the only difference between a designer and a finished box is the fact that a designer box has laminate on the top and shelves on the work surfaces. Speaking of the customer service website where I do actually show you how to laminate if uh, you want to try doing that yourself and I show you a whole bunch of other stuff there too uh, your plans people are going to practically live on that website as they're doing their projects. and Your kit people find a lot of very useful information. You get to see me do it, which really helps, uh, you know, helps a lot of people get through it. Um, but there's something there for everybody. doesn't matter which version or product you end up with. I think you'll find something on that customer service website that is of some value to you. Okay, maybe you're still a little bit unsure as to which version you ought to go for. Well, here's what you should do. Get one or both of these books because that will get you into the customer service website as well. And then you'll be able to figure out how well you match up in terms of time, money, know-how, and tools. Then for three months, I will give you a plans credit of up to $24.95 toward the purchase of a kit unfinished or finished product should you decide that that would be a better way for you to go. And the good part is you get to keep the plans so if down the road you want to build a extension shelf or piggyback shelves or maybe even an entirely another product you've got the plans so that you can do it. The important thing is that we get you out camping more often this year.